we're going to talk a little bit about the acceleration due to gravity. And the symbol for the acceleration due to gravity is the lowercase g. That stands for the acceleration due to gravity. And the value for the acceleration due to gravity near the surface of the Earth is generally about 9.80 meters per second per second. What that means is that if you drop an object near the surface of the Earth, its velocity will start increasing by 9.8 meters per second every second. So if an object falls for one second, its velocity after that one second is going to be 9.80 meters per second. After two seconds of falling, its velocity would be twice that, or 19.6 meters per second. And then after three seconds, its velocity would be another 9.8 meters per second on top of that, so it would be 29.4 meters per second. After four seconds, its velocity would increase again by 9.8 meters per second, so its velocity would be 39.2 meters per second. That's what happens to the velocity of an object if you drop it near the surface of the Earth. Gravity causes the object to speed up as it falls towards the Earth, and the rate at which it speeds up is 9.8 meters per second every second. Now, of course, it makes no difference what the mass of the object is. Objects of different masses will always have the same rate of acceleration downward. And the reason for that is actually quite simple. If you take two objects, one that has a mass of 1 kilogram and one that has a mass of, say, 10 kilograms, this object will have gravity pulling on it with a greater force. You probably understand that a little better once we talk about weight as a force. In other words, gravity pulls on this 10 kilogram object harder, so it will have an acceleration downward of 9.80 meters per second. It pulls on this less massive object with a smaller force, and so it also will have a downward acceleration of 9.80 meters per second per second. So no matter whether the object is 1 kilogram or 10 kilograms or 20 kilograms or 50 kilograms, it will always accelerate downward at 9.80 meters per second per second, or you can also write that as 9.80 meters per second squared. And like I said, it makes no difference what the mass of the object is. The velocity will always increase as it falls by a rate of 9.8 meters per second per second, or 9.8 meters per second squared. Now, the acceleration due to gravity, I said, is generally 9.8 meters per second squared. That actually varies slightly depending on where you are on the surface of the Earth. And that's because the Earth is not a complete, perfect circle with the equator running through the center of it. The, the, the Earth is actually what's referred to as an oblate spheroid. So it's sort of wider at the equator and thinner from pole to pole, which means that if you're standing at the North Pole, you're actually closer to the center of mass of the Earth than if you're standing on the equator. So if you're standing at the equator, you're further from the center of mass of the Earth, so you weigh less, and the acceleration due to gravity is lower, or less. If you're at the North Pole, you're closer to the center of mass of the Earth, so the acceleration due to gravity is higher here. But if you went from the equator to the North Pole, it's so small, the difference is so small, you wouldn't really notice the difference. 
but there is a slight difference. Okay, what do you want to remember here? What do you really need to remember? You need to remember that the acceleration due to gravity, the symbol for which is g, lowercase g, is equal to 9.80 meters per second per second, or meters per second squared. It can be written as meters per second squared. And understand what that means. It means that if you drop an object, its velocity will increase by 9.8 meters per second every second. It also means that objects that have different masses will accelerate downward at the same rate, 9.8 meters per second squared. And it makes no difference what the mass is. Also remember that the acceleration due to gravity actually depends on where you are on the surface of the Earth. It varies slightly. The acceleration due to gravity is less if you're at the equator because you're further from the center of mass of the Earth. And the acceleration due to gravity is greater if you're at the poles, slightly greater, because you're closer to the center of mass of the Earth. 